again, happy Friday! Today I'm gonna talk about something that I get a lot of questions about and that I enjoy talking about because I want to inform people and raise awareness that this exists and that is my condition that's called face blindness. Before you start thinking I made it up, I didn't. I would not make this up. It sucks, okay? I wish I could recognize faces, I really do, but I can't. There are of course like different levels of face blindness. For me, I can't recognize people that I've just met and I can't recognize people that I've only met a few times. Even if I've seen someone like consistently for a long time, it, it might not mean that I recognize them. A question that I get a lot, like so much, people ask me what faces look like to me. And faces still look like faces, I just can't recognize them. Like I don't remember what they look like. That does not mean that I don't remember the person. I have a really good memory, funny enough, like I will remember all our conversations, everything we talked about, where we had the conversations, like I'll remember everything else in detail. For instance, if you tell me something that you like, I will remember that. Three months from now, if I'm making you food, I will remember that you don't like bananas, you know? I remember things very well, so for me that's so crazy that there's just one part of my memory that just doesn't work. But yeah, back to the actual question, I still see a face. People think that I just see like a blur or that people, like I just can't see the face. This isn't like some kind of like horror movie scenario, like I can still see what a person looks like. I just can't remember the face, that's the thing. It's something that I always have to keep on top of because I have to keep remembering that like people don't know this. Like when I meet new people, they don't know. And what makes it even more difficult is that I'm a little bit egocentric, which to to the extent that I think that what I know everyone knows like to, what I know is obvious like everyone knows what I know so I have to keep reminding myself like they don't know that you have face blindness they're gonna think you're rude tomorrow or they are gonna get hurt because you don't recognize them because even though I tell people they don't think that it's real like they don't believe me obviously I know it's super rare uh, and everyone takes it for granted that you recognize people like that's just something like it's just like walking or whatever like until you can't do it you th you take it for granted so people will still think like, oh, this doesn't apply to me or this isn't real. It's not that they're not listening, but I know that it's hard for people to imagine something that has never been a part of their life. Like it's never been something they have had to think about. Like they're used to people recognizing them all the time, you know? Something else that my brain does that if there's a facial feature about one person that like when I meet someone new and they have the same facial feature, I confuse them with that other person. Like I'll start calling them by their name, like that other person's name. And it's not like something that I do on purpose. Like obviously like, I know they're not the same person. I told my friend Amy this and she did not take it well so I'm kind of nervous about telling the internet. But if you guys have seen the movie Chicago, for some reason Richard Gere, I think his voice sounds like Pierce Brosnan. So I thought it was Pierce Brosnan. I like literally like for years I watched the movie several times and I thought Pierce Brosnan was starring in the movie. And then I looked at the cast list and I was like Richard Gere? What? How? Also something that luckily a lot of my friends are very considerate about but for me looking at faces is work. Imagine if you have to focus to tell what color something is. Like you're looking at something that's red and then you have to really process it and be like, oh yeah, it's red. For me to see a face, I have to like think about it and be like, oh yeah, that's you. So if you're like a friend of mine and we've ever planned to meet somewhere and you've questioned why I'm always like, where are you standing? Like, where are we meeting? Like exactly, like I'm trying to plan the exact spots or if we're meeting at a restaurant, I'm always like, are you already inside? Like, where are you sitting? Because if I have to like go inside and look for people, like it's exhausting for me. And especially like during like rush hours, if I am standing in a train station waiting for someone, I will actually be exhausted from looking at the masses of people and trying to find whoever I'm meeting. My friend Iza is amazing with this because she will always tell me what she's wearing when we're meeting and it's so nice because then I can look for, you know, like a yellow jacket instead of looking for faces. I should just get better at asking people what they're wearing as well, but Oh my god, that sounds so bad. Actually, maybe I should not do that. Another thing, I don't watch a lot of TV shows and stuff, which is always such a like long thing to explain to people because everyone's like, oh, have you seen this? And I'll be like, no, and they'll be like, what? Like, why have you not seen this? I'll actually feel like such an idiot when they do that because I'll just be there like, I'm sorry I haven't watched it, but my brain doesn't work well enough for me to do it because I'll just lose track of everything because I don't remember the people and then I can't remember the story and I don't know. As a result of this, there's a lot of TV shows I haven't seen. I've just finally managed to watch Game of Thrones because there's so many characters. It was so hard for me to watch it, but finally, I managed to with the right support, so that was a big step for me because it was something I really wanted to do, but it was really hard. So yeah, I don't watch a lot of TV shows. I try to not bring it up because people are always like, why have I not watched this? Because you know, people are offended when you haven't watched their favorite show. I often just 
watch the same movies over and over again or I watch movies by the same actor or actress like people that I can recognize I'll just watch all of their movies because I can recognize them so it's easier for me to keep track of the story I was watching Aladdin with my friend Damon like literally mid movie I had to be like is that Aladdin <laughs> because you know when people change clothes like it's so I, I'm, I'm lost of course most of my friends my close friends know that I have face blindness so they're not gonna like give me shit for not recognizing I have certain celebrities or all this because sometimes people get annoyed at me for not recognizing like their favorite celebrity. I would love to be able to recognize people and just be able to, you know, watch all of the movies. I don't know what, you know, like Katy Perry looks like. A lot of like the really big stars and all the musicians and all this that most people would just take for granted so that everyone knows. I don't recognize them. I went to a research session for uh, face blindness at like University of London or something like that. And they gave us like 40 pictures of celebrities or whatever, like really famous ones, like George Clooney, Britney Spears kind of, you know, level. And I did not recognize all of them. Some of them I knew that I had seen before but I couldn't you know like to remember who they were it was so hard and it's crazy to think that like for that person who had to sit there and like ask me like who's this who's this and for them it's like so obvious like obviously this is that person like how can you not see that this is Lady Gaga but for me mm. I don't know. All right, I hope that was informative. I hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions about face blindness, feel free to leave them down below because I would love to answer them. I love talking about face blindness because I want people to know because it's frustrating to have a problem that no one knows about. So the more people who know about this, the better. So yeah, I'll answer, I'll answer anything you want. But yeah, other than that, I shall see you next Friday. Keep up the good vibes. Bye.